up men 25 aimers welcome to today's video today we're going to be talking about how i like to run the ball uh, out of the shotgun normal wing new york formation my base formation how i like to incorporate the run in my offense and otherwise what is a pass heavy uh, offense so we're going to be using just a 4-6 normal inverted cover 2 to kind of show you uh, what it would look like in game but what we want to do is we want to focus on the halfback base that's one of my favorites and uh, the motion, as you guys know, for the giant slot trail, the motion we like to use is a little two-step inside motion snap. And um, what we're going to do off of that is this run right here. And so if we if they don't follow him over, we're just going to snap in the A-gap. And you see we're going to try to say, okay, we're going to get outside. We're going to play a numbers game. And uh, we're just going to try to take what the defense gives us. So what a 46 normal team, will, uh, if you're running the 4-6 defense, a lot of guys like to have this show blitz look, and uh, even I like to have that look sometimes. And again, I like to snap in the A-gap, and so here, I'm just going to try to get that five or six yards. But in situations where I'm facing a defense that everybody's stacking to the inside, so if they're base aligned, essentially, uh, when I motion over, I'm going to go ahead and fake snap. So R1 in the middle, fake snap. Then I'm going to check down to my single back bunch. Um, and of course, I completely messed up the audible. But I want to check down to my single back bunch, and the plays that I want to run is the quick pitch in combination with the halfback slash. So those are my two plays here. I see that I have an advantage to the outside, so I'm going to run that quick pitch, get that pulling guard out there, and, and I am going to have a really good time running with Darren Sproles uh, to the outside in a situation like that. Now another thing that you can do with this halfback base is you could turn it into a run left by doing that little stutter move and trying to get to the back to the outside. It doesn't always work perfectly, um, but it is something that you can do to kind of to kind of get the same kind of three-headed rushing attack kind of a agenda out of just one play. Um, another thing I really like to get a three-headed rushing attack is is the bubble screen. So I like to set that as an audible as well because if they're base aligned and, and doing all that. And say maybe they send a blitz off this edge right here to kind of stop the halfback base. Well, if I hit them right at the right time with that bubble screen, you see that I can get big yardage, and it's almost like a it's almost like a basically a running play, and it makes them have to defend. They have to have a guy over there. They have to guy have the guy over the right for the halfback base, and then they have to worry about the potential audible down into the single back punch, and and that's something that really makes this a really good formation and a really good base formation. So for example, let's show you another example. So if they're spreading everybody. Out, out like this I might check down to my single back um, doubles X slot zero one trap and I might just say okay I'm gonna bring more in I'm gonna snap him right about here and I'm gonna try to get a little trap run up right up right off the center if they're spreading everybody out I'm not gonna try to do the bases or the off tackles because they're spreading everybody out for that um, but if we want to stick uh, solely with the single back bunch, kind of give them a look, and they may think that potentially we're running the single back bunch halfback toss crack, um, then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go with the halfback slash. And you see that I can run this halfback slash, and I can motion Colston in and kind of get some more blocking up there. And this has the potential to be broke outside or inside. You get those three blockers to one side. Really effective uh, little running play there. So um, it's pretty simple how I run the ball from the Giants book. I like to do it with motion, and I like to do it with a, a couple of different formations um, with the single back bunch, my base formation, and then also the uh, single back doubles formation, which is really just very quick transitions all around the field. But if I see that the defense is doing something like this, so if I'm, if I'm facing a dime normal, and what a dime normal would look like is something like this. So they're going to take uh, this guy here. Let's just show you what this is what an example of a dime normal. Uh, would look like if you guys have been watching. So a dime normal looks something like this. So they have the two high and then they have the middle linebacker in the middle here. So if, the, if I get something like this and they're spreading everybody out like this, then I'm just going to check down to my single back. If I can find it here. My single back doubles X slot. And this is a really good situation to run that single back uh, zero one trap play. And so I want to snap more right at that left tackle so he can kind of fill that other hole and I can kind of just choose a hole based off what I see and uh, read and react type of a thing. Another thing that I love, is, remember, is that bubble screen. It's almost like a run to the left side. And if you uh, really want a dominant run to the left side, uh, let's see if I have it in this playbook. I think I have it set up in here if I can find it. Not that. Um, 
here it is the ATL zone weak you see how that's gonna it's going to the left and again it's off that same motion and so now we're gonna motion over as if we were going back into the doubles and now we're just gonna run the zone weak off that edge and you see how we accomplish a three heading Russian attack but from multiple formations and so it, it bases everything off the rest of the offense so for example if an opponent is base aligning and spreading everybody out there's no reason for me to get into a trips but there's perfect reason for me to check down into my single back uh, doubles X slot take the zero one trap that he's giving me and just say okay well I'm gonna take I'm gonna take this little underneath run here for about quick five six yards um, another thing that you can choose to do is, is again, if they're if they're uh, base aligning and they're showing blitz and they're doing that and they, you know that they've base aligned. Well, might as well just throw a little bubble screen. It's a little bubble screen off of a play action, and it's very easy to uh, be the defense that way as well. So a lot of different concepts that I've went over in this video, and I I want I'm just curious if you like this type of a running set or if you like something like that we talked about from Arizona, a heavy run set with a single back ace, uh, halfback zone weak, halfback slam, and halfback stretch. Let me know what you guys think, and uh, thanks for your time.